Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. It is going to be the Animathon 2024 vlog. Animathon is celebrating their 31st year and I was able to attend thanks to Lunapri Arts, also known as my friend Jess. Come follow along as I take you behind the scenes of being a vendor, artist, booth bay sort of thing. This video is going to follow similar formats to my previous ones, so just be aware. So for prep day, my coordinate is an Alice in the Pirates one. I decided that I needed to bring Chris in at some point because the entire weekend is just going to be Usakumias and Kumakumias, okay? So Chris needed some representation. The coordinate inspiration is by a school uniform, so really loving the beret and the schoolgirl vibes that this gives off, so it's super cute. Solid coordinate, very lovely. So Jess actually asked me to pick up a few things from the dollar store and here I am packing them into my bag. And because I live literally just 10 minutes away from public transit, I decided to take it down to the convention center. And then I made it to the convention center where I arrived a little too early and I had to wait for my friends to arrive for me to get a pass to be able to go in. How to find Jess 101 is to make sure you find her shrocks. And not gonna lie, it was really fun to see all of the other artists that were gonna be there. I did get a little sneak peek, so that was really lovely. The exhibitors hall is quite big and is able to hold a lot. I felt like Artist Alley this year was quite dense and there were a lot of good artists there. Since we arrived around 6.30, we only had until eight o'clock to finish setting up. We weren't able to finish setting up, but we did have some fun conversations along the way. I did keep some of that in, so please feel free to enjoy. Jess is actually in the professional side of Artist Alley, so she was able to get two tables. This does cost a little bit more, but it does come with four free passes, so she was able to get extra help for the whole convention, which is great for her. And also good for me, because I literally got to attend this convention for free. That is going to be it for the first day, which is just prep day. Now, Friday, August 9th, is actually the first day of Animathon. So, for the first day, I decided to go a little all out with my coordinate for the day. It is a baby Thumbelina print, and I decided to wear a flower crown, which is actually heavier than it looks. But this is one of my favorite JSKs that I really love bringing out, just because of how fun and bright that it is. Plus, the little details really blow this JSK away. Not gonna lie, the long sleeves were a little hot for the convention center, but it's fine. We made it through by the end of the day. For Friday, the exhibitor hours is actually from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., but the special pass holders do get an extra 15 minutes before, so I aim to be at the booth at 9.45 each day that we were there just to help Jess out. I know the usual hour and a bit is quite slow, but 
I felt like it was necessary for me to come, so I came at that time. Overall, first day was quite busy, despite it being a Friday. Like, I was really surprised. People just didn't go to their jobs that day and attended Animathon, which, I mean, is a very adult thing to do. And I don't know why I'm so surprised by it, but I guess I'm just really surprised by it. By around midday, I was really, really frazzled by the amount of people, so I was very thankful that Jess let me have some arts and crafts time by cutting out her prints that need to be trimmed, so thank gosh for that. I don't think I would have been able to survive a full day of socialization and just meeting people. So, so many people. And that's that for day one. For day two, it is the Saturday, another full busy day. So for the coordinate of the day, I decided to match the head visor with the trim, specifically on Baby's Berry Berry Strawberry with Kumia Parfait series. The Rick Rack trim color on this dress matches the cap perfectly, so it was a match made in heaven. I decided to pull out the reds in this theme with some red hair bows as well as a red bracelet and the red shoes. And in this coordinate, you can also see a Kumia ice cream charm that I actually strapped to this JSK because I thought that would be really cute. Once again, the exhibitor hours were from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. And the day actually went by a little bit better than the previous day. I think it was such a big adjustment, specifically because I was not used to seeing so many people at the same time in one go. So even by midday, I wasn't that frazzled. It was fine. I was doing okay. And we also had a third helper that day. So that really helped out. And I wasn't too overstimulated or overwhelmed despite Saturday being the heaviest foot traffic day. I gotta say, throughout the day, I was pretty frazzled, but I was slowly getting better at learning all the character names that Jess has to offer. And watching people play gacha is low-key really fun because it feels like I'm promoting gambling, but not really. If you ever play gacha, you, you know what I mean, right? Like, it's it's not gambling, it's, it's gacha, it's completely different. But it's really fun to observe and see. Gotta say, Jess's products does really well on the sales floor. And we also have our resident artist, Becky, using her art degree for Chaotic Yo. Good. And by the end of the day, I did make sure to record Jess's table covers. Oh my gosh. It's really funny because her table covers are pastel blue and pastel pink, which are ironically gender reveal colors primarily used for these parties. So, so far for the past two nights, ever since we brought them out, we always say, okay, it's time for the gender reveal after party. And it's a party every time. So yeah, that was day two. All right, day three, finally, we are getting to the end. By this point, I was extremely exhausted and had to scrap my last coordinate idea. And I decided to go for something simple and basic, which is metamorphose typewriting squirrel skirt with a basic cinnamon roll t-shirt. I also brought my little squirrel as an emotional support squirrel because I needed some support, you know? It was a really good coordinate to move around in, very casual, very comfy, and I didn't really overheat, which was great.
The exhibitor hours on the third day was only 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., which was great because they actually gave you so much time to actually clean up and pack everything away. So I was able to capture some fun moments behind the booth, and in the morning, I did arrive a little early so that I was able to check out all of the other vendors and artists that were here. I saw quite a few and purchased a few things, so you'll be seeing that haul a little later. But yeah, the show usually isn't as busy on the Sundays, and most people run out of their funds by then, so... I don't know if we made any more sales on Sunday than we did on the other days, but it was still a pretty good day. I was able to sell all the worms that Jess had for sale, so that's great. And not gonna lie, I was so excited for the whole thing to come to an end. Once the little bell rang for Artist Alley and Exhibitors Hall closing, that was it. We were done. We were officially done for the whole weekend. It's really funny that breaking things down and putting things away doesn't take as much time as setting up. Overall, I think I really enjoyed my experience as a vendor and I had a really fun weekend. I made a new bestie, I joined the Vlad cult, I mean club, and I just had a really fun time getting closer to my friends because we were working together towards this one goal of making it through the weekend. So yeah, a really fun time. It was a really good time and since we were able to put everything away quite quickly, we were able to make it to our dinner reservation at Turinku Osaka, which is on Jasper Ave, and we had a really good company dinner. Okay, that's gonna be it for voiceover Duan. Over to editor Duan. Hello, editor Duan here. So, as I have been editing the anime thon vlog, I realized that I actually didn't do an ending talking sort of scene to discuss about my experience vending as well as showcasing the little things that I was able to purchase while vending. So, I'm gonna quickly show you the items that I purchased. I was only able to slip away from the table for approximately 30 minutes, so I purchased everything really quickly. To be honest, I definitely wasn't able to purchase as much as I wanted to just because of my little time limit and the fact that I felt really guilty leaving the booth. I was really excited for my Eat Trash t-shirt that I got from Tiniest Star. It's so cute and I can't wait to wear it as my new little subway shirt sort of thing. So onto my experience itself as a vendor, I gotta say it's really different on the other side of the table. It was really fun watching people react and and just being generally very excited. That was so, so enjoyable. I really commend people who do Artist Alley consistently because it is a lot of work. So vending at these sorts of events is definitely not for the week. The hours are very long, but it can be quite rewarding and very fun to essentially meet people 
from different walks of life that you would never meet otherwise. As I'm editing my video, I could really see my energy levels go literally down and down and I can exactly pinpoint when my brain stopped working and I just went on autopilot. <laughs> I just wanted to do a special shout out to our neighbor, the animator. He just really made the Vendee experience so much fun and was seriously the best neighbor. So thank you for giving us such a fun time and some inside jokes. And we can't wait to see you next time at future events. Also special thanks to Jess Lunapri Art for allowing us to booth bay for you, as well as my friends, Becky and Koneji, because without them, I would not be standing. <laughs> would I do this sort of event again? Maybe. I think there was definitely some Stockholm Syndrome happening specifically near the end. So yeah, that was my experience vending at AnimeCon for this year. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and got to see some fun behind the scenes sort of things. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!